what's up guys back with another video as you can see i'm back to recording on the camera this is cognitive biases part seven hindsight bias is big i mean it's us thinking that we knew a better course of action from the past and it's like you actually didn't know a better course of action because if you knew the better course of action you likely would have taken it our mind plays plays tricks on us making us think that we knew a better course of action and we beat ourselves up for it um you know, you see hindsight, hindsight bias can be very subtle, right? Growing up, how many times have our parents been like, yeah, see, I told you to do this and that, and it's like, no, you didn't, right? Like, that's that's what I want you to keep in mind with hindsight bias. It's like, no, you didn't. Just just think of that phrase, no, you didn't. So when you say, I knew I, sh I, knew I should have done this, and I knew I should have done that, nine, nine times out of ten, like, no, you didn't. And it's okay to be wrong. Um, that way you learn like that and that and that's how you should use this bias you should use it as a learning experience and iterate from um and, it, and iterate from it and, and just do do better use the past decisions you made as helpful data to make better decisions it's actually your present self that knows the better course of action not your past self your past self didn't know it but you put your present self uh, as if your present mindset was used in the past. Let's say you don't know which restaurant to go to with your friends and you guys end up going to a new restaurant and it sucks. And then you're like, oh, you see, I knew we should have went to the other restaurant we always go to. Like, no, you didn't because you didn't experience a new restaurant until you experienced it. And then you had the idea that, okay, maybe we should have went elsewhere. But you learned that this restaurant isn't for you and now you should go somewhere else, right? Um... You see, you know, I've experienced hindsight bias in business as well. A certain marketing campaign, it's like, oh, I knew this ad would have done better than this one. It's like, no, you didn't. Like, it's the data that, is, that told me which ad, ad, ad is better, you know? Like, my team will think, you know, in, once, in one aspect, we think, like, a video ad would do better. But really, it's the image ad that beats it. I actually have a story with uh, hindsight bias. It's actually a pretty interesting story. Um... This was, gosh, this was this was years ago. Um, okay, so this is basically my basketball team. Um, this is a this is a team I played in outside of school. Playoffs were coming up, we had a nice season, and uh, you know, first round, won the first round, kicked their ass. Ooh, wow! And then uh, one practice after our um, after the first round, my coach comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, Jeremy." Um, this, you know, this next team that we're going to play, their point guard, you know, he's he's pretty fast. Um, we're going to have you guard the point guard because, you know, you have long arms and you're also fast. By the way, I typically would, I, I, I in, on this team, I would play small forward and power forward, right? More over the taller positions on offense, but on defense, I would guard the point guard. So, anyways, the day comes and it's, you know, it's the second round and we're, we're pumped and ready to go. Uh, tip off and then uh, you know we score first we're hyped we're good to go we're ready uh, and then I'm guarding him and you know everything my coach told me about him he's quick and fast and he's fast he's fast he's really good in fact I still remember his name I'm not gonna say it but I still remember his name and you know throughout the game he would make s such amazing passes and just like intelligent basketball IQ and just great decision making right a great floor general and you know we it was a hard fought game but we lost by like i think five points and looking back hindsight i was like oh i knew he was gonna do that pass oh i knew he was gonna go there i knew he was gonna do that i knew he was gonna shoot it here and it's like no i didn't actually know that at all like it, it was just a a mind it's like my present self knows it because you know i experienced it but my past self didn't know that and this is what you have to understand in the past, you're really a prisoner of the moment. This is a this is a big phrase you should keep in mind. Being a prisoner of the moment, you're in the moment, so you don't really know how you'll kind of act. So that's a big thing to keep in mind with hindsight bias. Just take information from the past and get better for the future. You don't and and watch and be careful how you trick yourself into thinking that you knew that an event was going to happen, and be aware of other people other people's hindsight biases um this is a this is a big thing to understand uh and you can this is, and this is so applicable to er all areas of your life even if you're giving somebody advice too um uh, maybe you're in a career field 
where you give people advice or maybe it's just a friend that you give advice to watch how people kind of contort the past and um thinking they knew a better course of action that's very important and again i want you to note that in this video i'm not saying that there are times where you don't know better courses of action sometimes there are where you can consciously say okay i should probably do this but i'll just do that in that aspect you can still learn from it but in a lot of cases we think that we knew a better course of action when really we didn't so keep that in mind if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you want to schedule one-on-one -on -one, use the link below as always have a great rest of your day peace